Welcome to the echo chamber, George. I think you're the only one here. The echo chamber. Oh, Johnny Rando showed up. It's <clears throat> going, Johnny. Flash just started lunch. You can hear me back from PC lunch area. Lunch area. Are you at home? You at home or are you on the, uh, you at the workplace? Are you going to make Facebook and Instagram crash today, Flash? Are you not going to do maintenance? Just you know, George, Flash runs Flash runs uh, Flash runs the servers for Facebook and Instagram. So, hmm, I'm gonna simmer down. Ugh. Man, I don't know why I'm so tired today. I don't know why. All right. You don't want Flash on YouTube. Nobody wants Flash on YouTube. All right, so here I am at uh, 352 backers, 28,360. I think this number is going to jump by the end of the week just because, just because secrets and things. Tom Rohn, yeah, sleep when you're dead, right? Uh, unless you're Tom, unless you're uh, George here, who goes to bed. Uh, at 7 p.m., I think. Mm. George, you went to, you went to um, MegaCon? Um, hey, Tom, you know who else was at MegaCon? I think, I think maybe, uh, Joey Sylvester, dude. He was, I think he was at MegaCon. Uh, Billy. Yeah, and he says, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, Joey Sylvester. Here, let me find, let me show you. I'm, I'll pull it up here. I'm not pulling it up on my, you guys don't need to be seeing my account, so I'm going to pull it up here. I'll just show you a photo. Um, yeah, man. Um, What does he go by on Instagram? It's uh, I don't know, screw it. Here I'm gonna go to Facebook. Look up. Uh, let me find him here. There he is. Here's Joey. Yeah, dude, he was he was like he was like cosplaying, man. Yeah, so, so if you saw, hey, George, you saw my buddy, if you saw the uh, Run DMC Flash, that's that's a, a guy I went to school with. That's uh, that's Joey. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he was a Megacon, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, goofy, tall ass dude. He's pretty tall. He's, he's taller than me. Um, Patrick launched campaign to sold his merch. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I remember he was doing something like that. I think he and, didn't he and his wife have a booth there. Uh, George was not in Florida, funded the right press goes to make a con campaign. Okay. More importantly, you funded the uh, 94 Racialty War Number 1 campaign several times. Several times. It's my reprint cover right here for Volume 1, for everyone who missed Volume 1. You can get it as an add-on, too. You can select any of the any of the perks here, the single copies or uh, you know whatnot. Tom, oh Tom, check this out. I don't know if you've seen, man. I did a I did a uh, cover swipe. This is the um, that toddy. Remember the, the wizard one. So I did a I did a swipe of that. Um, I even swiped, dude. Check it out. I even swiped all the uh, all of the cover wrap, everything. And it's the collector's edition. That's not a lie. It's a fact. It is a collector's edition. Oh, see, Steve. <laughs> How you doing? I like the headband. Nice. Hey, also, um, on the, on the, uh, yeah, I do too. I got two copies. I got a beta reader, and then I have one that's like, Mint. It's not a 9.8, though. I thought of getting it graded just because. I, I probably still will. It's going to be like a 9 or a 9.4. Something like that. Uh, Bar Ideas, how you doing? Woodrow, how are you? Um, Billy Spittin' Facts. Yes. I'm doing too much work for other people, man. My wife concurs. Yeah, she had a good point. She said, why are you doing work for all these people that aren't aren't pimping your book? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, back Rage Tally, Shelby Robertson here, yep. Yeah, so I'm working on three campaigns that are all six-figure campaigns. Um, uh, Black Flag, 200,000-something. Uh, Shane Davis, on Rex, Inglorious Rex, and then uh, Malin on Godlike. So there's three campaigns there over six figures. I'm at five figures. I want six figures. It'd be nice to get it on this. Uh, I'm I'm only a seven, I'm only seventy two thousand away from. Can you guys help me? Can you guys help me get seventy two thousand in backers? That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys. Um. <laughs> Woo! Uh, George says, don't forget. No, George, I very specifically said six-figure campaigns, not five figures. Yeah. Right? I am going to add more perks, man. I might add some more originals, too. Uh, Billy, if, if I got to that... I would go knock on my neighbor's door and ask them to like back one thing, dude. Um, I don't have any family or neighbors who back my campaign yet, which is funny. Um, as much as I talk about it around here, so they think they're getting shit for free. Think again. Think again. Not going to happen. All right. Um, let me switch this over here. Uh, Nine twenty-two. Got two webcams, guys. I'm rich. I'm rich. Why is this not working? Oh, there it is. Look at that. I got a light. I can change the light setting on this. Let me see here. Blue. White, I think. Yellow. I like the white one. There you are. All right. That's about as bright as I can get it, so whatever. Billy. Yeah, so this here, um, George, I, this here was me actually practicing. Um, Andy and I were talking 
on Facebook through we're just FaceTime each other. I was playing with Nib, so this is all Nib. Um, I wasn't really digging it. It was it was one of those like uh, you know like a disposable Nib sort of thing I was playing around with, and I was gonna I was gonna junk this piece. You can see here I was doing some practice strokes. I was gonna junk it, but I don't want to junk it. I kind of like the face, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. Um, this character is not Rachelity, but yes, they are, they're from that. Mm. Yeah, Andy says, drop that lines only tier. I don't like that you're saying, Billy. Mmm. Oh no, Billy. Oh no. I can't believe you're dropping. George is in chat, Billy. What's the matter with you? Language, sir. Language. All right. There you go. Billy's going to be Billy's going to be coloring um it looks gonna be coloring my ra my rascal thing, but I've already decided I'm not giving Billy pages until he finishes that pinup for me. Uh, Billy owes me a rageality pinup, George, so you might want to remind him. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this, the line art on the fist and the face here, this was all with um, me trying different nibs of that. Uh, uh, there's like a nib set for like, for like manga. And I was like, it, it looks interesting. Like, I want to try it. It's not Hunt 102's, you know, traditional. So. No. Where are you going, George? Uh, Flash says, uh. I'm from Utah and I'm easily offended. Mm. I bet you do. I bet you're going to show Twitter before I see it, Billy. Oh, no. Oh, no. And by oh, no, I mean oh, yes. Oh, yes, Andy. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. Well, we got we got a uh, Joe Thunderbuns sh showing his coin slot to people over on Bancroft's channel. So, I mean, it might it might happen. I happen, but anyways, happy hump day. Happy hump day to you. And on this here, I'm just gonna cut the remainder of it. I'm just gonna use brush and these favor castles just because I don't really use these anymore. On actual book stuff, I'll use the um, the unipins, but I used to use these exclusively, like the extra small and the small size um, favor castles. I used to use these exclusively in like uh, sketch covers and that. I know I talked to Andy into getting them too. He does a lot of sketch covers, and then uh, it kind of went straight up. Just started just only using the unit pins. Um, I noticed the tips to these is a little bit. It has a little bit of a sponginess to it, 
and sometimes can affect the, the line weights. So, uh, Johnny says, Cable Guy is hilarious. It is hilarious. Back when uh, Ben Stiller was involved in some fun, fun, fun flicks. So Ben Stiller, Ben Stiller directed Cable Guy, and then he also played. He was playing the uh, like the Menendez brothers in it, but they were called something else. The twins who killed the parents, and that like he was, you know, he was making fun of the Menendez, Menendez brothers in it. But um, did Ben Stiller direct Dodgeball also, or even like Tropic Thunder? I feel like that's kind of up his alley. Like, neither one of which would be able to be made today without. Getting obliterated on the interwebs. There needs to be some sort of like, like indie, indie film, like indie film creators who really don't care about the deal, like that needs to return and like. You know, like, uh, who's a Paul Bearho? I can't say his name right. Robocop. Robocop Paul. Paul Bearho, the director. And then he did, uh, you guys remember Hollow Man? It was like the Invisible Man film with Kevin Bacon. The Hollow Man, that's that's also Paul Bearho. Like, that was a good film. I liked it. It was different. I like, I prefer that one to the uh, Invisible Man. You can simp for me in public, Billy. Uh, Flash says, "When is the next Shelby and Andy show? Uh, next Monday. Next Monday. I've already, I've already told people like, hey, look, like I'm, we're doing this. It's the day that works for us. So uh, Monday. It's just a hang. It's a chill hangout stream. Flash, like it's not, you know. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna talk about our week." It's really just like putting on YouTube what a phone call would be between us, except maybe not talking exactly the way we would talk on the phone because because of things, because of things. But yeah, probably do some artwork. Uh, probably shill shill some artwork a little bit. You know, I know Andy has a lot of. Andy's got a show coming up. He's got the El Paso, the El Paso con coming up. So we know he's busy creating some some work for that show. And then um, I'm not doing that show, so I'm just creating work for the for all of you, all of you, all the backers. Um, oh, and also I think the 18th uh, Shay Shay has a. Um, art auction that I'm going to be part of. I think I'm going to go on at four, but I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> Sam's. Um, I heard, but why not every day? I I'll be every day. Andy can't. Andy can't be every day. I can be every day though. I'm trying to do every day. You know me, Flash, man. Like, it's just, for me, it's just showing, like, hey, look, this stuff's getting worked on. Other stuff's getting worked on. Um, I don't think there's enough of that, in, like, just in comics in general, man. Like, people not knowing, like, what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing I'm taking the initiative. I'm not really a follow-the-leader type. I'm just going to do it on my own. Um, I do know that there's other channels that stream certain days and specific times, and I'm not trying to step on toes, but I am going to stream when I'm able to. Like, I'm like otherwise, what ends up happening, is, and I've done this before, um, like I've tried watching like when, when Shane Davis was streaming or anyone else, and I'm like, I don't want to be streaming at the same time because um, you don't want to pull, if you got the same, you know, like demographic, you don't want to pull the same people, but... 
I mean, honestly, it's my thing is like, hey, my stuff, you don't got to be here. You can watch it later if you want. Like, all my stuff is archived. My, my whole purpose, though, again, is just I want to show that things are getting done. Like, much more important. Maybe get some more follows. Um, that's not my focus. It's going to be years before I even hit 500. Uh, follows on YouTube if YouTube's even a thing um, but yeah flash so anyways long story short uh, Mondays uh, 7 p.m. Texas 6 p.m. Arizona I'm Pacific so 6 p.m. 6 Pacific yeah, and we'll try it out I might advertise it a little bit watch Andy cancel on me then if Andy cancels it'll still be me I'll still come on So, what's everyone doing this hump day, by the way? What are all of you doing on hump day? These little sketches give me an um, opportunity to kind of play with some different fades and stuff too. So, hey Amanda, how you doing? Uh, Bill says pose badass like the curled posture shows that agility and and guile. Should I give him guile's haircut, Billy? Uh, Texas Central? I'm not sure. I really don't know. Uh, Grimmer says, fortunately, I'm not celebrating hump day the proper way. Yeah. I think most of my chat's not celebrating it the proper way. Except for Flash. Flash should be celebrating it. Flash is what you would call a player. Player or pimp. But yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know. I, like, it doesn't Texas have two time zones? I mean, Andy can pop in and tell you. I, I really don't. I have no idea. Because Texas is huge, man. Like, um, uh, here in Arizona, I always say, you know, we're the Wild West. We don't, we don't, um, we don't observe daylight savings. So it's always the same time here. Like, it's just, we don't change our clocks. So sometimes we're within two, sometimes we're within one, depending on which state, I guess. Yeah, and again, this is my my ink, my ink, my inking ink. I can't turn it sideways to show you, but uh, this is a travel shot glass. 
They also have these that connect to your belt buckle for the side. So this would be like, I mean, really, this is a double. If I was going to do some fireball out of this, it, this would be a double. Um, if Flash and I were going to drink a bunch of warm fireball out of the back of his truck, uh, this would definitely be a double. Ah, God, this thing's... This was a cheap, a cheap little thing from Andy. Andy and I had that little event up north in the hills, and uh, again, yeah, we killed it. We crushed it, man. We crushed it. We crushed it. We did so good up there. Uh, Johnny says, "Not only do I celebrate Hump Day properly, I'm celebrated upon as well." Good for you, Johnny. Good for you. Yeah, Billy, this was just a quick sketch, dude. Like, there was no thought behind it. And, yeah, I did I did notice he had kind of like a a weird a weird bendy, a weird bendy. I was actually looking at um, some J. Lee 90 stuff before I drew this because um, it just happened to have been in a long box I was um, organizing a little bit. So that might be what it was because he used to do a lot of that. Sometimes I'm just too influenced. Like, I'll see something, and then I kind of, like, do my own little kind of take of it, I guess, in, in like a weird way. Um, this already feels like a Protasio piece to me. Maybe that's it. Wilson's already always the um, the organic like the organic uh, artists over at Wildstorm back in the day. So... Uh, great motion. Yeah, kind of. I mean, that's not the intent, but I can see that. Yeah, I just figure I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit some of these shaded areas just because. Um, it's easy to do right now at this stage. I usually do this last, though. Like um, anything, anything with like uh, spotted black stuff, I always do it last. Not today. Not this hump day. Yeah, I'm gonna let it. I'll let it. Uh, look at that. Flawless. It's a perfect circle almost. Um. I wish I had that bravery on originals. Like actual pages, man. It's actually not too bad. As I botch this part. Yeah, it's still pretty good.
and I got white out, so anything that I, I bleed over to, I can just kind of jump in and whatever. But really trying to keep a, a healthy distance from the edge because um, this is going to go in the sketchbook, the Ray Tolly sketchbook from the campaign. And so um, I don't want this to be a full pinup, you know, so I'm probably going to shrink it down some and uh, couple it up on a page with some other, some other pinup or whatever. I've done a few. I mean, it's on these streams I've done, I don't even know how many, um, maybe five or six. I'm going to throw that hockey one too. Uh, I don't know if you saw on hockey's, I did that, that one, the, uh, the not to dry. I forgot what the screen was called. Sorry, he had it last night with. Uh, he had one last night, and uh, for the same thing, you know, he rolls the the virtual dice, and then you, it's a challenge, you know. Um, mine was cringy though. Mine was cringy, like because I think most of it, it was like drawing with the left hand, which I can't I can't do for anything. I'm no good with the left or anything at all, actually. Um, Tom, I don't know if you're still in the chat, man. Um, do you still get all your all your old comics, dude? When we used to hit the shop. Tom and I were Tom and I were those kids who used to save our lunch money. Like we we would starve ourselves, like three days out of the week, just to be able to buy to buy like comics. You know, it's crazy. Old New Mutants and Spidey, amazing, taught on amazing. But Tom had a pretty good collection too. I think at some point Tom actually had more comics than I did. Because um, I was too picky. I was like, I would drop off books because like my favorite artists weren't on it anymore. Like Excalibur, or, you know. When Alan Davis left, left Excalibur, I kind of left too. I forgot who took over Ron Lim. I think Ron Lim took over for a bit. I wasn't really following on that. It's almost like seeing the uh, the Cuberts taking over for Jim Lee on X Men. It's just not the same. Anyways, yeah, with Andy, it's going to be uh, Mondays. We're going to try to do it every single Monday. So it'll be Mondays, um, 6 Pacific. So I guess that's 9. Is that 9 Eastern? Shoot, I need to refresh this. This thing is not good.
Do my chat, my chat is dying. Oh, I guess it didn't, Flash is here. You mean uh, meetings that pay your bill are more important than uh, than Shelby's drawing? I can't believe it. Flash, you are, do I even need to ask? Um, are you doing the, um, oh, Flash, since you're here, man, let me talk about this. Are you doing Salt Lake? Okay, so um, I was going to talk to you about this, man. Just, there's no one here. I don't give a shit. So uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, uh, Amanda, how's it going? Nah, do be on whatever. Flash is over there on Twitch. Do what you want. Um, so, okay, so let me tell you, dude. Uh, Phoenix Con, Phoenix Fan Fest, which used to be Phoenix Comic Con, they were part of that salt lake lawsuit so they had to change their name too right like they couldn't use the comic-con thing so anyways um they rescheduled for i don't even remember it was like november right something like that then they rescheduled again for january right so yesterday i get a message that they've rescheduled again. Now this is for the show from two years ago that was canceled from COVID, okay? Two years at this point. So now they've rescheduled again for May of 2022. And uh, I was just gonna tell you, I was gonna be like, man, you know what? I really would not be surprised if uh, Salt Lake just straight up cancels and then reschedules, like for, if not later in the year, for next year. Cause I'm seeing a trend, man. Yeah. So, yeah, and Amanda, you can you can watch any chat under any account. I know I knew who it was. I know it was you. There's only one Amanda B that drops in my chat. Yeah, but I don't know. I think that sometimes you know, like there there are other shows that are going on, dude, and so. But again, I just think I, I have a feeling that they might end up just straight up like canceling, you know. And also, the thing is now too with um, uh, you know, Salt Lake guested me. But my thing, my thing with that is, um, they that only includes like your look, you know, your location, and then uh, kind of like the last the last year I did it when the first time they guested me, right? So. Um, expense and everything else, you know, like I'd have to, I'd have to take care of all that stuff right now. And just the fact that I, I still feel like it's not going to happen. Man. Um, I don't want to get locked into that because uh, who is it? Southwest already. I think Southwest owes me a ticket already, man, like um, from two years ago. Cause they weren't doing like they weren't issuing refunds or whatnot like there's a few other like i think major league baseball i think goes me too um or something something somewhere because i jumped the gun and i got tickets from you know for some game i think the giants were coming to arizona to play mm. Yeah, George. George was here earlier asking asking about the the puppy. But yeah, man, Flash. So yeah, my thing is just that you know. I think the show's going to cancel and it doesn't make sense to get, to get locked into a, 
uh, a refund situation with um, a flight and hotel. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these hotels too, they're not going to issue refunds. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe next year. Maybe maybe I'll just have to take a trip up there and I'll stream for your, for your bedroom flash. Doesn't sound like you're going to, to Vegas soon. Going old school on this fade. Old school. Uh, Billy says, I feel bad about my potty mouth. Didn't really didn't make George leave. He's probably sitting there. He's probably sitting in chat. But it, but also, you probably did. You probably should feel bad, Billy. Um, Fifty dollars says they didn't cancel Salt Lake Fan because I'm on paychecks at this point. They won't cancel. Yeah. Um, Flash, I'll, I'll send you photos. So right now, on any like I would say every third or fourth video that I click on YouTube, um, it starts off with you know the sponsored videos. It's one for for Fan I don't know if you've seen that. So Fan X is uh, yeah, I am leaving Utah in February. What if they flip Fan X to March? Will you be driving back up from uh, from Vegas for that? Amanda B says, Billy. Yeah, man. I think you'll I think you'll end up driving up. Now I'm just having fun with this piece, by the way. Just playing with it. Sorry, Chad, I'm not looking up for a second. I'm trying to knock this section out. Get it ready for some more brush work on it. I need to clean up too. I gotta get I gotta get my whiteout pen ready. Locked and loaded.
depends if you're there. Oh, if I'm at Salt Lake, yeah. Yeah, no one should go to that show if I'm not there. Are you kidding me? Uh, NTM, how you doing? Noah, Noah is here. Uh, YouTube doesn't give out notice. Well, you're probably, you probably didn't hit the bell. Yeah, I actually did get mine too. I. Uh, Noob says, remember filling somehow after they changed our artist walk that up to six weeks to the 20 more. Uh, Helmo Biggs. So you've seen it here. Flash says, Flash says that, uh, that he's leaving Utah in February. So. If anyone in chat is interested in hanging out with Flash, I'm drinking some uh, some room temperature fireball in the back of his pickup truck. You got until at least late January. Flash, do you already have do you already have the job? Like like seriously, like are you already are you already set up? I'm kidding about the I'm kidding about the fireball too. Flash has a fridge. Rizzo says, hey oh no. Robert, how you doing? How is Robert Shepard today? How is how is uh, ICM Comics on Instagram, aka Chris Rizzo today? All right, Flash is ignoring me now, isn't he? Robert says, busy with my plants. Tank Ferret, how you doing? Jail George. Everyone's leaving me. Why is everyone leaving me? Uh, Tank for it. I am fantastic and cracked out. You? Who was on crack? Uh, my bad. Blame the ginger root man. Yes, crack pack.
my neighbors are all getting new roofs this uh, this week. So we've been street parking kind of far from the house and uh, finally we're told it's it's uh, safe to park in our, uh, our driveway so that's nice. I just like to point out uh, Rizzo says help crack. He just wants crack. He doesn't care about it, who's in or who's not. Uh, rest in peace, D Wag. Mm. Where is Darren? Where's Darren been? Yeah, Mo Biggs, father of Aro. Wow. Um, where has Darren been? I thought I saw him on a screen the other night. Was it just a cream? Was it just a dream? Uh, Mo says, uh, Darren's still alive. He's just a wear funny now. Oh, no. No, that's not, that's no life. That's not a life to live. Wild B safety wag. No, we must smoke him. A wear wild beast. Yes, unclean. Robert said, he dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I don't think anyone's surprised. Matter of fact, I think everyone's thinking, why why didn't it happen sooner? Right? Is it too soon? Yeah, I knew that. I knew. Uh, I knew D Wag was hanging out with the and uh, all those, uh, you know, like the furry whisper networks and that. Oh, there he is! You're not dead. Out of the crack ashes. Darren, can we still smoke you? I was excited. I thought we were gonna have some some uh, smoked smoked weed.
Forget pork, smoked weed is what's for dinner. Uh, take first says a crackware phoenix behold the might of t <laughs> uh, That's fantastic. <laughs> Where did Billy go? Billy left the chat. Billy, do you have any insight? Any insight on uh, smoking the ashes of uh, a freshly deceased weed, saturated in crack? Mm-hmm. Crack to life. <laughs> Crack to life. Billy finally got to the chopper. Yeah. I think he's still here. I think he's in hiding. Uh, Billy, pull up your pants. Get back in chat, man. Yeah, I thought you left. All right. Thanks, D-Wag. Thanks for stopping by. Although I, I am dissatisfied that we can't smoke you, but it's all right. Oh, Noah says Mr. Travelos is the one who left. I like that you call Mr. Travelos. I like that. Respect your elders. Respect. Yeah, exciting news. I, I reactivated my uh, reactivated my Snapchat. I think I stopped using it months ago. I wouldn't say using it. I usually would just creep. I'll just creep people. I creep Andy. 
Andy would post sometimes, not often. I feel like the Snapchat, the Snapchat crowd all went to uh, what, like TikTok, right? My snaps is usually like when I'm eating like food. Like I take a picture of my food and it goes straight on the snap. Oh snap. Uh, George sent me some comics that should be here today. Is does George is George like is George like the uh, is he like the grandpa of chat? Like he he's like, I got some books to send ya. D Wag. Um yeah, George is trying to George is trying to swing him over from the dark side. Um, Snapchat crowd went to OnlyFans. I mean, the YouTube crowd went there too, and the Facebook crowd and the Instagram crowd. <laughs> oh, Billy, I was I was just asking you. Um, George is the elder statesman of CG. <laughs> uh, what ashes? I, I was asking you the proper, like, is there a proper method to smoking the ashes of uh, a freshly deceased weeb? Like a weeboo. But, like, a weeboo who very obviously had a, an addiction to crack. Because, like, you know, you know, like, that's in their, like, their DNA, their RNA, their hair their toenails, it's everywhere, right? Like, is there a proper way, you know, um, it's an effigy of sorts, but it's more like you're smoking them, right? I figured you're the one to ask. Mm. I agree. I agree with Mo. Mo has yet to say something I don't that I that I disagree with. Uh, Billy says uh, we've ruined manga. We used to be just due to like Japan animation. I agree. Hundred percent. Hundred ten percent. Hundred and ten. I don't even have that extra ten to give, and I and I give you hundred ten percent agreements. Rick, how's it going, man? Happy hump day, Rick. It's a uh, right-handed singles night tonight. says it wasn't as shameful as before the days of oh print the book backwards more authenticity Owen does this give me subs
I'm kind of wondering when the hostile take takeover began. Um, you know, you guys know I have two older boys who are both adults, and uh, my oldest he used to, he used to read different. And it was obviously not the manga that I would have been that I would have been into, but he used to read a bunch of that and. Yeah, I remember. I remember looking at him, going like, "This is just not, not right." There were a few gems though that came out around the, so like, what was that? Like oh five, around oh three, oh four, oh five, when he was really big into reading, reading all that, but. Yeah, I ended up finding. Some, some cool stuff. I think that's when I was introduced to what was it like Blaine? There's a few, I don't know, there's a few in there. A few hidden gems. Uh, Rick says this piece is looking sick with three exclamation marks. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, it's just a warm up. I got a little bit of time to kill. So it's 12. I got to leave around 2. Um, you know, daughter has dance class and that. So, and then tonight, I don't know that I'm going to be streaming tonight. Um, I do got some pages. I, I still have pages that I got to knock out for Rob Arnold. And I got pages um, laid out for originality that I need to knock out. So. I've been pulling all nighters, man, getting this stuff done. Pulling all nighters all the time. But I enjoy it. Comics, man. Comics. Comics are worth it. You guys are worth it. So. Could be worse states. Could could be in a situation where like no one's buying books, right? Silver, how's it going? How are you? Uh, Rick says I'm gonna look at manga. It needs to be ultra violent and nasty. You know what? Say yeah. I mean. When I look at the when I look at like uh, Japanimation or like uh, anime, that's kind of that's kind of my thing, you know. I like all the, you know, the really super bloody stuff. It's it's not even horror. It's just hyper violent, you know. But there was a time when that stuff, like, you didn't see that stuff in American comics and that. And I think that was the initial attraction was like, oh, wow, this stuff's crazy. It's drawn really well. The animation is good. Um, yeah. But most of the films for me that have rewatch value is like, you know, Wicked City. Um, Ninja Scrolls kind of played out. I know everyone loves it. I, I do enjoy the film. It's just. I think what happened with that one is it got too big and then it makes you not like it as much because you're like, why do all these people who don't care about this scene love this film that I also like? turns us all into uh you know hipsters right like i was the i like this before it was cool
<laughs> oh man. So glad you were there to see that. Uh, Robert Shepard says, I like Shelby before Kelsey knew who he was. Kelsey still doesn't know who I am. Let's leave it at that. Right? Who the fuck is this guy? I don't think most people know who I am. I'm okay with it, though. Uh, Robert, what did you say? You got banned on what? The, the Jack show? That's what it was on, right? I don't remember what you said. So Robert says 94 is going to be fired. So you, you're correct. You're correct. And I'm not kidding. Like when I tell people this is the best work in my career, it literally is. And it also shows that I got room to grow because I I do lack in some areas. Um hmm. Billy says saw Dan Plagle's pages for a reality comic. He only showed me that one sketch. But I do want to see more Plagal. I think that's funny. I don't think anyone here has even seen what you're talking about, which is fine. Um, thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. I've never been a fan favorite, so I'm, I'm excited about this. Oh, you call him a fan of Strong? Did people in chat not, like, troll them like that? Is that, is that why? Like, they... He got mad. He saw five pages. He did not see five pages today. He only had that one piece to show, man. Billy's just trying to play with me now. Playing with my emotions, dude. Hello, friend. Boot Dan Art. Someone drop. Someone drop. Uh, do you, is your is your email list still open, Dan? Or you're uh, you're still building your list, or is that done? Joe Ball from Death 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 is in the his house. How you doing? How you doing, Joe? Boot Dan. Hmm. I don't think you're being too violent. I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, Past Master Dan says, hello, friend. Hello, friend. I, dude, it's right, dude, his name is Rage Tality. Like, what do you, what do you expect? Um, 
<laughs> a shelf a Shelby museum. Yes. Yep. I'm gonna point out I am backer number seven on uh death death death, so I'll be the judge of that, Dan. I wanna see I wanna see what you can work what you're working on, man. Thanks, Amanda. There it is. So Amanda just put it up. Um, you sign up for Goblin Girl. Um, I know of two editions that Dan Clayton and Chad is going to have um, for his book. He's going to have a line art, or sorry, not line art. I'm, I'm going to call it the black and white edition because um, he does grayscale. He does grayscale work on his originals. So he's going to have like an original, like an original uh, perk where it's like all the original scans, and then he's going to have a full color one too. I'm pretty sure that's the plan that we discussed. And then other stuff. He's got other things. But yeah, everyone sign up right there. Sign up. Round two. Round two. Dan's original list expired, so you had to start over. With the... Uh, Kicking ass and taking names. So. Danny, are you are you and Billy gonna be streaming later tonight too? I kind of want to. I just don't. I don't want to host. Um, because I need to like. I, I got some inks stuff I gotta finish and then. Uh, Some other things I gotta work on too. To require a little bit more attention than I can give on the stream. That was fun on Skip Stream too. Skip had a pretty good show the other night, two nights ago. Sean Connery made an appearance on that screen. I'm going to do a little bit of whiteout. I'm going to do some whiteout stuff up in here. Maybe some splatter stuff. I don't know. And this is just fun. Fun little warm-up for me today. I do have quite a few pages I'm going to try to knock out there. I'm aiming for four pages today. Um, trying to get to that blue damn level of uh, knocking stuff out. I can do it in pencil. I just can't. Fully inked, I can't. Fully inked is, is I'm more of a one page a day if that on inks but pencils the fully pencils you know straight to pencil straight to color stuff i can do a handful of pages a day pretty easily i second guess links all the time too that's one of my problems i got Uh, Mosa, Skippy, mommy we try to get Cletus Bogatin to appear on the stream. <laughs> yeah, Cletus doesn't have internet. <laughs> yes. Uh, definitely host tonight later. Time you think? I don't know, man. I'm I'm the same time zone as you. 
us us West Coasters got to stick together, even though I'm Arizona. There you go, right there. That, that, that. I was backer number seven on that campaign. Seven. That's the lowest I've been as far as like an early an early background some of those campaigns. So seven for me. And I thought I had a chance at getting number one because it was like a kind of a ninja launch, like late at night. And uh, no, I didn't get number one. But seven's good enough. Seven is heaven, baby. Seven's heaven. I got, you know, when Boogdan types, I can hear Boogdan's voice it says, well, you're in luck, friend, because all he did was pencil five pages as I was unsure of content X-ratedness, friend. Oh, Pass Faster Dan, have you not watched, have you not watched Boogdan draw? I've seen that dude, I, I might be exaggerating. I think he did seven pages in one stream. I feel like he did seven pages. And I might be exaggerating, but I, I think it might be that many. And then, and then, he redrew some of them on said stream. Because he didn't, he didn't like them for some reason. He didn't like some of them. Dance fast. what Dan tells the ladies. He says, I'm not like the other guys. I'm fast. And then they're like, you're just like the other guys. Yeah, sometime tonight, if you guys, if you guys have, uh, if you're not subscribed to Bootman, uh, looks like we'll be drawn later. Tonight, though, okay? Like, not early, not, not daytime, like night. Bootman, Bootman has a schedule to keep. He's got life holds to save. Uh, I may be fast, but look at those abs showing those like 10 minute. Yeah, they're 10 minute abs. Absolutely, dude. I miss, I miss, uh, I used to have abs. My wife likes her. She likes to uh, remind me back in the day while she pokes my gooner. I miss, I need to start hitting the gym. It would be healthier. Problem is, you know, we sit with lockdown. Lockdown didn't do anyone any favors. And then, uh, you know, I sit for a dozen hours a day using, you know. 
I was gonna say I was gonna say sixteen, but that would be a lie. I don't actually sit for sixteen. Some days I do, but we got a kid in the house. It's impossible. Pre baby though, I used, there was days I actually sat in the group for like twenty, and then you know after three days he would crash. Yep. Yeah, about 90 minutes. Yeah, Bootan. Bootan's a 90 minute, 90 minutes a page guy. I think a lot of people could be. Um, what happens is we all get preoccupied. That's why I try to be careful about the kind of uh, reference materials I have on my desk, because then it becomes like, I'm just going to look at this book instead of work. I still need to read my Starlight Cats. I got Starlight Cats. Um, this showed up. I didn't do an unboxing because my box was actually hammered. I wanted to make sure everything was okay, but got my Starlight Cats and then the uh, all the cards and that. So I'm not going to do a video on it, but I do want to read it. So got that to read. I got a couple trade paperbacks too that came in. They were internet purchases. So. Might do reviews on those. Billy. Billy did a poster. Hammered box? Yeah. Yeah, they said if you want to save on shipping, they'll throw it in a hammer box. No, nah, just the po the our mailman's just bad with packages. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen him chuck. I literally watched the mail. I watched the mailman over a fence that was like uh, about seven foot tall. Take a box that weighed about fifty pounds and literally chuck it over the top instead of just like knocking on a door. Uh, most says my box was hammered. All in a day's work for Boot Dan. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, when Boot Dan isn't saving the Lightfeld family on the side of the road, he's hammering boxes. I would sing uh, Foo Fighters My Hero for Boot Dan right now, but um, I'd much rather just take a selfie and get a copyright strike as if I did sing it from YouTube. Um, I actually, true story, I got a, I got a, uh, my, my channel got struck for having, it said Foo Fighters My Hero, and I was like, I never, have had a Food Fighter song on. I don't have any music on. If anything, strike me for that Billy Madison outro, you know, like something. But no, it said Food Fighter. And I'm looking at the timestamp, and it's literally just me talking. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, it's just my face. No reference to lyrics, none of it. Makes no sense, man. We live in a crazy world. Uh, Boudin says, sometimes I'm hammering the life of... Oh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Dan. Calm down. This is a kid's show. Yeah, this is a kid's show. Now let's let's get back to Rachetality. Show us those pages, Dan. Show us those pages. Hyper violence.
Yeah, I would say anything anything would like as far as like what's being printed in the book. Um, uh, anything that's uh, I would say if it's like rated R, then it's okay. Like like um, I think at this point, you know, like like a shot of uh, you know like a decapitation or something like that is okay. Um, because I actually, I, I mean, I actually have that in the book, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, stuff like that. But like nudity stuff, I stay, I stay away from that, Dan. Like nudity in the book, I just, I just would rather stick away from it. The reason, um, I keep books around that my daughter goes through. So, um, yeah, the language stuff, I'm not too concerned about. She doesn't read so well, so. There's nothing she's going to go to school parroting, you know. Uh, I mean, dude, maybe. You think YouTube's trolling me? There it is right there. I'm getting started again. Thanks. Thanks, Chris Rizzo. Yep. They are getting the best of me. I uh, think it was hard as they wanted friend. Perfect. There goes my, there's three strikes. All right, guys. Well, it's fun having a channel. Um, perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Where's Billy at? Why's Billy so quiet? <laughs> Never ends. Uh, thinking nudie, but I'm doing no. I don't want no rage, Dong. Yeah, no. Yes, that's fine. No, no nudity, man. I mean, if I have to, I'll I'll use a censored box. Hmm. In the nude, in the, the nude, Boudin, in the nude. Would it be a Rage Dong or a Rage Schlong? Which one would it be? Type one for Dong, two for Schlong, chat. Let me know. Let me know the answer here, because it might make a guest appearance. Is there going to be a first appearance of the uh, the Rage Dong or the Rage Slong? What was one again, Mo? I just I forgot what I even said. Dong. Dong is one. Schlong is two. So let me know, chat. One for Dong, two for Schlong. No, no girl one. Mm-hmm. So the Rage Dong. It's like this. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Grandpa Travelos left earlier because of uh, someone named Billy who was talking nasty. So just so everyone has voted. For the Rage Dong, not for the Rage Slong. Pastmaster worked with the worked with the Dong. What?
Oh, geez. All right. I need to do this hand right here, and then uh, I don't know what else I need to do to this thing. Just This was only supposed to be a quick sketch. Look what happened. Boob Dan showed up. You know, it's funny, um, doing these live art streams, it feels weird to be drawing with silence and not be uh, speaking into the uh, into the ether. Uh, Rizzo, you know what, man? You've already lost, but uh, he says schlong is funnier, too. Raging sh song? I mean schlong? Raging schlong? Chris, um, do you got a website? So Chris here, Chris right here is also a retailer, just so everyone in chat knows. Um, it's a retailer of books. So uh, put it in the chat, dude. I don't, I don't know your, I don't know any of your links, but put it in the chat so they know kind of um, what you do besides crack. And we verified it earlier. Uh, Rizzo is a, uh, his crack pack. Um, but I, I would not let I would not loan him the keys to go back in the house to use the bathroom if you know what I'm saying. Most of us almost said rage dong rolls off the tongue better. It sounds like something Bancroft would say. Rage dong. Rage dong. I can't even say I sound rage dong. Rage dong. I need to work on my uh <laughs> I, I need to work on my uh my Australian. Yeah, every day. Every day, Chris Rizzo. Every day. What time is it? One o'clock. It's one o'clock now. My time. One o'clock my time. Yeah, Rick knows what's up. Crack pack. Hashtag crack pack bags. True. Hashtag go fund mo. Yes. Go fund mo. Mo needs to release freaking AR-15. AR-15 orangutan. Did anyone ever color that piece? I Dude, I put the... Uh, I put the actual the uh, the TIFF or the PSD up on Twitter for everyone to download and try to color it. I haven't seen any entries. I think people just took the file. They're like, thanks, Shell. Global Frequency is going to be streaming from a convention and be like, oh, look, this guy has eight different color variations of of Mo Biggs uh, RO drawn by Shelby because he put that file up on up on freaking uh, the tweeter. It's one reason I don't like putting um, high res like actual like printable files online because that that happens. Uh, Rick says today's not home day. It's raw day. Rizzo says I got our small group on Facebook. Uh, okay, so yeah, Rizzo runs a. Well, that doesn't help no one. You didn't even say what it is. 
Invincible Comics on Facebook, all right? Invincible Comics. Um, Derek Rupp's coming with the Rise Derby impression. <laughs> hey, uh, Bancroft has a lot of surprises. Um, if you ever, if if you ever bored, uh, go look at that six-hour stream I did. And towards the end, um, Bancroft jumped in with me. Um, like when I was very first starting the stream, uh, Bancroft jumped in. Um, who else? I think Boot Dan was in there. Um, Ethan popped into my chat. It, it was it went so late that George woke up. It was like when George was waking up before I even ended it. Um, but yeah, Bancroft was showing his comic book collection, and uh, that dude has insane books. He has he has a copy of Amazing Fantasy fifteen. He's he has Spidey three. He's got nothing but key issues. And this whole time, I thought he didn't know comics. I was like, wait a minute, what? Why do you have that? It's crazy. Just skip like towards the end, and you can see Bancroft going through his comic collection. Like, um, I think Mel was pulling out short boxes, and he was showing like all the stuff that he owns. I didn't know he was actually like, like an OG comic man. I was like, oh, that's. Nice reprint. It's like, nope, that's an original. That's an original Amazing Fantasy 15. He said he bought it years ago from some guy, and the guy like regretted selling it. But yeah, everyone, yeah, go get on uh, Facebook, Invincible Comics, and more. It's called Invincible Comics and More. Uh, B Rose did stream yesterday is maybe his best show ever. Only his birthday stream compares. I don't know if I'm subbed. I'll have to go off to see what's what's uh, B Rose's uh, channel. I'll have to actually look. I miss West where I was being confused with the store in Modesto. All right, dude, drive safe. I didn't know there was Invincible Comics in Modesto. Um, I used to shop there all the time in Modesto, though. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Go on my stream and look. Go on my stream and look. It's just Black Rose Comics. Okay. Okay, yeah. Link it, Mo. Um, here, I'm gonna go on my I'm gonna go on my YouTube and I'm gonna show you. I'll 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 link the uh, the video that Bancroft and like I said jump towards the end because it's like a super long like a six hour or so stream uh two weeks ago it must have been this one yeah because it was me and Boogan working um Let's see, George woke up. Here's us with Bancroft. Oh man, yeah, so he's already showing his books. So start watching it around 4 hours. Well, I'm getting a timestamp here. Sorry. Okay, so four hours and thirty-five minutes. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw. Sorry, guys, I'm not looking at chat right now. Um, here, so I dropped the link in chat. Uh, if you start watching it at uh, four hours and thirty-five minutes, uh, Bancroft starts uh, pulling out a lot of his collection. All right, just so you can see it. It's amazing. 
Yeah. So yeah, George was there. And so was, um, George was surprised too. Yeah. So, uh, Boob Dan was there to see it too. So Boob Dan knows. Boob Dan can confirm. Um, okay. So there's B Rose's channel. Everyone sub. Uh, Shelby sounds like a fill stream. Well, I mean, it, it was basically a fill stream with books that are worth a ton of money. Yeah. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, I would say four hours and 35 minutes into the stream and then you can actually watch it. All right. Like it's, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, everyone go there too. sub the B rows, but yeah, this, this, this one right here. Yeah, four hours, 35 minutes, and you get to see uh, Bancroft go through some of his uh, some of his key issues. Very interesting. Yeah, I just, I had no idea that dude was like, like a collector. And we we're talking about stuff. I also didn't know that he used to like, what do you, he used to make money. He was a gambler. He used to play, he used to play cards. Um, poker or whatnot. He was like a professional poker player. I don't know if he was a pro, but he used to play. Like for like bucks, like big bucks, I think. Uh, <laughs> most of those uh, Bancroft's full of boring poker stories. I mean... I think most poker stories are pretty boring. The payoff is, you know, the end, right? Wasabi Dutch, a.k.a. Carl, a.k.a. Dynamic Illustration, a.k.a. Flatter of All Good Things, the flatterer of all good things, uh, convincing him to stop telling him part of South Rose channel. Yeah, I mean... I got people trying to tell me to stop drawing. They're like, hey, if you really want to see some channel growth, and I'm like, not really. All the important people are here already. Um, you got the Mo Biggs. You get the Mel B. I get the, uh, I get the, cool stuff in there. I get the Bancroft sometimes. Um, and then you know, everyone on the coattails, you get Rob, Replicator Rob once in a while. All right, so this thing's basically. Uh, Robert Shepard said, don't stop. No. I can, dude, it's the only thing I can do. I'm not going to stop. No, but like, um, that was my thing. I was like, oh, if I'm going to stream, I'm just doing live art. I can't, I'm not, you know, I'm not the one to tell you why, you know, this movie sucks or this movie was cool or, you know, I'm not going to do, I'm not doing the variety thing. I'm like, I know my one thing. I know my one purpose. And, uh, you know, my one purpose is to smoke crack. Um, but, it, you know, you got to have funds. So I draw comics and that funds the smokage. As everybody in this chat knows, because I, I, I don't see a, a non a non. Uh, Crack pack number in this drive, so.
Except for George, but you know, Billy chased him away. Foul mouth Billy. <laughs> uh, no, yes. Have you ever thought of doing a music stream? Well, you know, now that you mention it, I don't even have to try. They just they ding me for music. They just ding me anyways. Uh, crack packs, crack pack bags every day. Wow. Yep. Yep. From one crackhead to another. Oh, yeah, we're going to have some interesting stories when I get Andy on here. Uh, he had a few experiences with crackheads here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. Um, him and his wife and his son. And uh, I'm sure he's going to share that on Monday. We'll share some of those. I'll bring it up. You guys remind me, though, okay? Like, I'm because I might forget because of, you know, crack. But, yeah, I really want him to tell those stories. Um They're not they're not crazy or nothing, but they're just they're worth telling just to get it out of your system and let people know they're not alone. Uh, you too have seen some crazy things, right? They're deadly in Detroit. Speaking of Detroit. Speaking of Detroit, Robocop. You guys should watch Robocop today. You should make an effort to watch Robocop today. Watch the director cut, or also known as like the X rated version, because they didn't. Uh, the violence and stuff is still in there. You need to watch that one. Um, Arrow Video has a robocop uh they did a robocop release a 4k remaster blu-ray and then um they also included the television because you remember robocop was televised several times right so uh the television edited version of robocop they give you a disc with that too just because of like the hilariousness of it um and it is it is it, uh some of the dubs some of the dubs are so bad, They're so bad, but like in a good way. Um, who knew it was prophetic? It is. Uh, someone kicked Noah. Noah, Robocop is one of my top five favorite films. Just letting you know. It's great because they use, like, there's an entire, there's an entire, like, cocaine plant used in that film and as a young child you didn't even know that's what it was you're like why is this cop beating up these guys that are just trying to pack sugar like why makes no sense and now it makes sense robocop just wanted the sugar for himself he's a sweet tooth you should watch it again it's a good film All right, now I gotta erase this sucker. Time to erase.
and I'll probably have these uh, all these like sketches I've been doing. I'll probably have them on the uh, that Shea stream when we when she has that auction coming up. I think it I think it's on the 18th. All right, so um, I know uh, uh, Jason uh, Baskin will be on there. Um, she has four or five slots, so we're all gonna be you know talking about her slots. So uh, it sounded wrong. We're all gonna be talking about our slots. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, Robert says, come to Detroit now, I'll show you. Yeah. No, we should go to Detroit. Well, It'll be like uh, it'll be like that movie Running Man. Like how long how long until uh, how long can Noah last? I ain't going to Detroit. That's where insane clown. That's where insane clown posse is. I don't want to go there. Those guys will jump me because of my haircut. Pretty good. I gotta bring the white out for this thing. White out, white out, white out. Coin <laughs> Coin slot. Um, I use these Prestos for very big areas, but you have to do them in one swipe, right? Um, kind of a cool tip. I used to only use these, but they don't get any of the fine line. The fine line stuff, I use the Postas. <laughs> Letting me know before anyone asks. There's always someone who asks, hey, what kind of pin is that? Posca paint pin, white. Doesn't matter the size, really. I think there's like three sizes, but yeah, they're all pretty thin. And then they, uh, these Presto, I think you get two or three of these for like five bucks off of um, Amazon. I'm just getting a piece of paper here because I know I'm going to be running off this damn page sometimes. So. Um, oh, hey, Carl, since you're here, um, did you get the thing from Phoenix that they canceled it again? I don't know if you're in here earlier when I was talking about that.
Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'd hate to see what Noah says in church. Still going. It's going to be dense. All right. Uh, <laughs> Moses says, Rocky's a total ripoff of Batman. They punch people. Phil Diaz. Phil, how you doing? You guys... Yeah, everyone go outside. Howl at the moon. Howl at the moon. Phil is here. Zade Comics. All right. So I think I'm going to skip the splatter. I think there's enough negative space playing. playing. So I'm going to do some... Do a little bit of work on this, and then I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, this thing was just supposed to be a sketch, by the way, so I feel like it's more, it's bordering, like, in a quality. I just wanted to do something fast. Not so fast. Uh, Phil says, love the background. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I just filled it in and then uh, white. I use mainly this this cheap, these Prestos. I like them for the thick stuff. But um, yeah, I would never use this for that kind of lines. Like this thing can only do like the super fine line detail, stuff like this. Yeah. Figure out what else what else I got going on here. What else do I have going on here? This thing. All right, let's see. 
you want to fix the face a bit. So, uh, Phil, the face and the hand right here, I was using um, I was using some uh, uh, manga nibs, like actual like nibs, like manga. They're made by some company that makes like manga supplies, and uh, they're import. They're you know straight out of Japan, and I, I wasn't filming them, man. I didn't really like it. I was like, this isn't for me. I tried it. Hold on a second. When Robocop moves, he's slow and looks stupid, like the robot version of a senior citizen? Oh, jeez. Noah, calm down. Uh, Zane says, I got those lunatic comics. Chill tonight, maybe stream my channel. Uh, maybe. I gotta t I'm got talking to uh, Boob Dan. He's, he's got some uh, rage tality pages he's been working on. Terminator was a robot. Uh, even Lobo. We're not talking about Lobo here, no. We're talking about Robocop. Robocop moves like a cop, but a robot. Mo says Robocop was a man on the inside with the robotic exterior. Terminator was the other way around. Oh no. Robocop moves like your grandma. Funny you say that. I just sent your grandma the link, so let's see what she has to say about that. Let's get her in here. Not really that Robocop is like in my top five, like top five movies. Not the remake, the original. But I like my 80s stuff. I like my I like my uh you know the original first predator movie. Um the Seven. I'm going off on this banding on them. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, two, Man. Uh, Robocop doesn't need to move fast. He drives where he wants to go. It's not like he needs to dodge much. He's nearly indestructible. This is true. Um, Shelby signing my grandma's mailbox. This is also true. Uh, Most has also used an early experimental build of something. Yes. 
Oh no! Does not look like a walking trash can. You're thinking of R2D2. Yep. Yeah. Rob, how's it going, man? You're right. This does look dope. This does. This is the dopest shit on the internet right now. You're right. Uh, and Tim says, "Yeah, Terminator was cooler." Hell, Rob. Hi. Yeah, you came into the... There's an argument. Noah's trying to trash talk RoboCop, which is one of my favorite movies. And Moe's not having it. Because Moe has good taste. Uh, Noah's now saying RoboCop looks dumber than RoboCopter? You talking about Replicator Rob? So much negativity today. Uh, okay, I finally have five minutes. Personally, I miss old school 80s action. Hey, Flash, can you do me a favor? Can you can you find can you find Noah on Instagram and Facebook and uh, put him in timeout on those channels too? Um, Mo says it's all about the story, Noah. I have the most advanced machinery. Terminator and Robocop are both cool. Yeah. You know what? I, I hold on a second. Hold on. Here, I'm gonna show. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here, let's. Here, we're gonna end this right here. I'm gonna end this. Hold on, hold on a second. All right. So this right here. This right here. Shows you why why RoboCop is the goat. Yeah, if you're a robot and you haven't shot someone in the dick, you lose. Yeah, and that scene too. Uh, Mo says, "What's the part? We're going to say about the part three. He's yeah, he's probably talking about that Frank Miller nonsense." Yeah, the first RoboCop's the best one. Dick shot, exactly. Um, there's a t-shirt, uh, Phil. There's a t-shirt that says, um, "I I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it just so I can wear it on stream for Noah." It, the shirt says, "Remember that time RoboCop shot that dude in the dick? That was great." And like that's literally all the shirt says. It's a paragraph. Yeah. I don't know. Some people just don't like good movies. You can't help them. Um, although I do like, I do like the, uh, I'd like Carl Urban's um, Judge Dredd more than I like the Stallone. So we got some mailing lists. We got Boob Dan's got a mailing list. Um, Phil, is your mailing list still? Are you? Is your mailing list still going? It's been a while since we talked about it. If it is, uh, if you can, you can drop the link in, ch in chat so anyone not on your mailing list. And then Phil also had a thing um, where anyone who signs up the mailing list and they back the book. Uh, He's got like a dozen pieces of art, like pinups and sketches and stuff that are going to be uh, given away at some point. Uh, they're going to have a drawing for that. And I did one 
which I'm proud of. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, no one will tell you it's not as good as, you know, Terminator, but... No! No, this is one of my characters from Rage Tality. It's just a... It's just a uh, warm-up. This is my morning right now. Yeah. Yeah, the remake's way better. Yep. Carbon's off. And I wish they made a second one, man. I, I wanted to see more. I was more interested in the uh, the, the uh, uh, George uh, Anderson, actually. Cool. Yeah, I dropped it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Everyone go sign up. That's supposed to say Lost. Uh, Phil's dyslexic. Good stuff. How you doing? Uh, Mo says, I talked to uh, B-Rose and doing a stream review tonight, so don't miss it. <laughs> He's reviewing his own stream from yesterday. Nice. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I haven't seen the whole remake or the original, but Stallone is always better. He's like, oh my god. Kick Noah. Just... Just somebody kick Noah at this point. Um, yeah, I'll see about checking Robocop out. Saw bits when I was like eight. Or, you can't judge a film if you were eight or nine. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, Phil, Noah came in here saying that basically RoboCop's a walking trash can and moves like his grandma. And then he forced, he forced my hand to slide into his grandma's DMs. It's, it got messy, dude. Um, I'm pretty sure you're like RoboCop. No, I'm pretty sure Noah's not going to watch it. Hmm. Uh, good stuff's asking Mo first or second. You're, Oh, geez. Draw something. <laughs> I will draw something else after I take my daughter to dance. What time is it? I'm going to have to go here pretty soon. Yeah, so here, since no one, I mean, no one, okay, so here, I'm going to drop the link again just so you guys can see, okay? So right here, here, I'm dropping the link. Okay? Make sure you like this video too. So I'm dropping my, a video there, right? Um, start the video at four hours and 35 minutes and you get to see Bancroft showing off his comic book collection. Four hours. Yeah. Four hours and 35 minutes. All right. So everyone go watch those and like it, but yeah, four hours, 35 minutes, um, uh, Bancroft, he showed, he showed, he's got some good books, man. And, and remember too, this was at like three or 4 AM my time. It just happened to be one of those weird streams. It was like a, like almost a six-hour stream. Uh, Mo says, it makes sense in the story for him to to move how he moves. Right, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, anyways, yeah. So it was like me, Boob Dan... Uh, Ethan jumped in the chat. I didn't send him the. I don't know. It was late, man. I didn't send uh, George. George booped Dan, me, and and uh, Bancroft. Who was on earlier? Someone was on with us earlier too. I think. Let's see, it's real. Boop Dan, because it started out with just me and Boop Dan drawing. I think. Oh yeah, Replicator Rob. That was after you left. Yeah, because Rob was in there for a bit. Yeah, Bancroft waited for Rob to leave to show off his, his collection. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I said, four hours and yeah, whatever minutes after four hours. Um, would you say RoboCop's better than Terminator? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's not even a versus thing. It's like I I prefer I prefer the story of RoboCop. To Terminator. Terminator's just time travel, dude. My character's time travel. Like it's just the it's easy to botch time travel. Uh Rob, you're correct. It is different. 
It is different. Um, is this a cup? No, this is a sketch. Look at it. It's just a sketch. This is just my, like my, uh, wouldn't compare to must watch. Yeah. 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 Terminator, Terminator 2. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really mind. What was the, the other one? Dark Fate, Dark, whatever it was called. I didn't mind that one too much, but I also I'm not emotionally invested in the Terminator franchise. Um, Robocop two and three were horrible. Like, I don't even, I don't even, you know, and I know the story behind it too. So it taints it even more like the original writers, there was a, uh, a writer strike at the time. And then, so since they told the production company, no, we're not going to write this, we're on strike. They got fired from the project and then they didn't even use what they were going to do. But the, the story would have been like badass of what they were going to do with the, with the Robocop. Uh, franchise um, and they were going to play with time travel a little bit it was going to be a thing where Robocop is junked and then reanimated like 300 years in the future and there's this like this weird like uh, like mutant war thing going on and they have all sorts of cool stuff planned for it um, and Frank Miller came into the mix and I as much as I love his Batman, I hated his Robocop. He's the worst shit in the world. They can't all be winners. Yeah, do what Rob said. Go watch the fucking movie, Noah. Uh, most says there are only two Terminator. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. I, I feel like uh, Terminator 1 and 2. I mean, I, I did watch the others. Um, also, speaking of um, the Alien franchise, um, I feel like 1 and 2 is pretty much it. But I do appreciate 3 just for its artistic value, uh, not for the what it did to the series. But um the director, I, I like the director of it. Whichever the whichever one it is that the guy who did uh, City of Lost Children and Delicatessen, whatever movie that that director did was was cool. Um, yeah, uh, Mo, you're so you're right about that. And also, don't forget uh, they dropped the ball on uh, because they could never agree on anything. And then by the time they did it, no one cared. Uh, Predator versus Aliens. Man, Noah's just trying to get kicked. Noah says Terminator 2 is overrated. Uh, yeah, and everyone go watch Bells. Um, not only did I clip the original video, I deleted the original video because uh, Bells recited by Phil was uh i mean that's the money maker you know like i don't need to watch the whole game to show me the home runs right um and that's bells bells is the home run so don't watch bells you won't be disappointed noah you would even like bells Noah's like Noah is Noah is secretly uh, who was that kid that never liked it Mikey. Remember how Mikey didn't like anything, but he would like Life cereal. Oh, that's funny because uh, George George is Noah's grandpa, and George loves Life cereal, so it makes sense. All right. I don't know what else to do this thing. What else should I do this besides tear it up and throw it away? Uh, Mo asked, did you see the original ending, the T2 or the director cut? Um, I thought they were both okay. I didn't mind. I, didn't, I really didn't mind either. That's sort of like how there's two endings to uh, what was that movie, The Descent? Like I like. I thought both endings were okay. 
whatever version they air. So he probably saw the ri the um, the original. I don't think they did director cut on the TV, um, the TV edit. Um, yeah, yep. Did it have Sarah Connor as the old lady in the end? And if it did not, then it's the uh, the theatrical. Noah's claiming that T2 has too many words. All right. So I'm going to do a little bit of this, and then I'm actually going to go to And tonight, I'm going to be drawing. Um, might jump on with Phil. Uh, might jump on with the uh, boob, boob Dan. All right, that's enough. Just a sketch. This is going to be a page in. This is going to be a page in the Rachetality sketchbook. And I wish this thing focused better. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you all tonight.